shit. All she want is pay back for the way I always play that shit. Hello everyone. I am Neon Eyes. Today I am going to show you how I made my track dream. First let's hear the track. Hope you enjoyed the track. In this part of the video I'm going to show you how I made the intro and body of the track. As you can see, this project almost killed my CPU. There is a lot of automations, effects, and plugins. Let me show you the intro and body. This is the intro and body of the track. Now I'm going to show you how I made this. It is very simple to make an intro and body. Usually I take the chords of the drop, or make some short melody of the drop, so that all part of the track will be connected. At first I'm going to show you a tweet sound, which will give a nice ambient to the track. I used chip preset of the plugin harmless. Ouch that hurt my ears, sorry for the loud voice. In the mixer I have used reverb effect, using the stock plugin, reverb 2. And also used slide on the piano roll for the end of the note to get a nice glide effect. As this sound hurt our ears, I used volume automation to make it smoother and adaptive to the track. Now let's go to the next sound. The sound that we are going to hear, made me to name this track dream, it's like a dreamy effect. It is a preset of the plugin Silent, that have given by a friend of mine. I just cut all the lower frequencies, using the plugin, Parametric EQ2. And used little bit, reverb, and sound goodizer. Oops, I don't know why this Edison came up here. Ha ha ha. Now let's move on to the next sound. I made arpeggios using Silent. This is the same chords as you seen before. These are the plugins I used, 
and cut some low frequencies. We only hear this type of arpeggios, when we play three notes together. For the next sound, I used pad, with the same notes, which will give a nice ambience to the track. In the effects, I used camel crusher to add a little distortion, and parametric EQ to cut unwanted low frequencies. Used volume automation to adjust the volume of the pad accordingly. You can also see a different automation with violet color, it is the automation of cut off filter knob of silent. Let me show you the difference in sound. We can make different types of variation in sound as we wish by making different pattern in the automation, I used wavy like pattern. To give nice dreamy like ambient to the track, I used female voiced choir. It is a preset called Electric 5 in the plugin, Citrus. I used high note, to give a female-like sound. In the effects, I used parametric EQ, to cut off low frequencies, in order to get female voice. Used volume automation to adjust the volume of the choir accordingly. I used some crispy effects like this. And these are the raising effects. Next is the body of the track, I used some notes from the drop and made this melody, by using pluck sound from silent. In the effects, I used parametric EQ, to reduce some mid, and increase the high end without increasing the shrillness. Next, I used a piano-like sound, from the plukin harmer, with the same chords. In the effects, I used parametric equalizer, to cut low frequencies. The kick I used is, Kashmir Signature Kick 8.
and the clap is Kashmir Classic Clap 2. And a small ride too. All together, it sounds like this. Now, the fun part came. I chopped the same chords and used these gaps. And these gaps will make a large difference in the melody. And now you can see this violet color automation. It is the cut-off filter of Silenth, as I used earlier. And this is the volume automation of this sound, used to increase or decrease volume accordingly. This is the sound when I mute the cut-off filter, now let's unmute it and see the difference. artists uses this sound, I got it from Martin Garrix, he mostly uses it in Area 21 tracks. Next, I used this bass sound, you probably won't hear it in mobile phone speakers. I used these gaps in order to give a special effect when the kick sounds. The effects are Combear and Parametric Equalizer. I'll show you how this bass, sound together with the kick and clap. And this is how I made the intro and body of my track, Dream. And now the part 1 of how I made my track, Dream ends here. On the next video, I'll show you how I made the bridge and drop. 
Because there is a lot to tell on the bridge and drop portion, you will get bored, that's why I decide to show you that portion, on the next part. If you have any doubt, you can always ask it on the comment section. If you like the video please support me by subscribing, liking and sharing my videos.